In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top five ways that you can improve your offense overnight in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at the game. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, what I want to encourage you to do is to join my Discord. My Discord is the best place that you're going to find for getting better at the game because there's a saying that goes if you, that you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And if you associate yourself with better competition and if you play with genuinely good people, it's going to help you get better. It's what helped me get better. I believe it's what help, will help everybody get better. And it continues to help me get better to this day. Better competition produces better competitors. So join that Discord. A link is in the description. Now, let's jump into the video. Top five ways that you can improve your offense overnight in Madden NFL 21. The first, the very first one that I have for you is very, very simple, but it's very, very effective this year, and that is to run some type of spread. Whether it be five wide trips, shotgun two by two spread, no matter what it is, I believe spread, spread offenses are really, really good, right? In Arizona Playbook, I've written an entire book on this, um, but you can also run some tray offset trips tied in out of it. But shotgun spread to me is the best way to be playing the game. I actually really like five wide this year. Never thought I'd say that in a game of Madden. Bunch quads is also a viable option this year. You know, pretty much anything that you do is going to work. So I'm going to pick a spread play. And on defense, I'm going to pick just a man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the second thing that I want to tell you for improving your offense, one simple thing that you can do is whenever you do run the ball, and we're just going to show you this out of, um, we're going to audible into an inside zone. Whenever you do run the ball, do not hold turbo until you get through the line of scrimmage. Okay, do not hold turbo until you get through the line of scrimmage. So tip number one is to run some type of spread offense, at least in my opinion, this is really effective this year. Number two, tip number two is to run the ball, or, or when you're running the ball, when you call a running play, or even when you get a, um, even when you catch a pass, you don't want to hold turbo. What you want to do is you want to slightly move the left stick, it's a very sensitive joystick, and you want to slightly guide him where you want him to go. So right here, very subtle movements make a big difference. And you see there, I'm able to get him through the line of scrimmage. When you hold turbo, if you're running the ball, if you're running the ball from any set in the game, whether it's um, single back, whether it's under center or, or shotgun or pistol even, it doesn't matter what you're running. It really doesn't. If you hold turbo, the defense will block shed. You'll see right here, snap the ball, I'm gonna hold turbo, and you'll see they start to block shed much, much easier. So again, very subtle movements make a big difference, right? On in, in offense, especially in the passing and running game this year, those subtle movements make all of the difference in the world. And so when you're running the ball, you wanna be very, very mindful of that, and you wanna be very, very careful that you don't mess that up, that you don't cause block sheds because you're just holding turbo. Right, in my opinion, that is such a huge tip, and you can literally do it. Um, you can do it from shotgun spread as well. You'll see here when I am. Um, if I'm, let's just let's pull out here and let's go a zone. But you'll see here with this uh, little play concept right here to Aaron Jones. Watch what happens. So he's going to drag across. I'm going to hit him. Now I'm going to let him sh square his shoulders, and now you see I can make cuts. If I was just to hold turbo, I would not be able to do that would not be able to do that. So that's a simple, simple, simple tip that really to me is gonna help you. My number three tip for improving your offense overnight in 9 NFL 21 is to make curls a part of your offensive passing attack. It doesn't matter to me what formation you're in this year, curls are really, really effective. And I mean really, really effective. So when you wanna start putting together your scheme, find a way to use that hot route in, in your arsenal. Right here, I'm gonna put Devontae Adams on a curl, and what you're gonna see is, it's a wide open dot against man to man. It's a wide open dot against a lot of different things this year, guys. And so if you really want to kind of go a step beyond where you've been so far, run curl routes, learn how to throw them. I've got a video on that that I'll leave in the description of this video, and I'll also give you a link at the top of the screen right now. So throw curl routes. So to recap, so far, we've talked about running a spread offense, we've talked about not um, holding turbo whenever you catch the ball, right? Or whenever you run the ball, either one. And then we just talked about 
making throw routes a part of your offense. The fourth thing that I want to encourage you to do if you have not already done this in Madden 21. This is a very simple tip that's going to make a massive, massive difference. Whenever you're throwing the ball, what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, especially from a spread formation, who is open now? By asking that simple, simple question, it makes such a big difference in my offense because what I'm able to do is that answer to that question tells me who has leverage. For example, in this in this position right here, it doesn't make a lot of sense to run Devontae Adams on a fade route, right? What I would much rather do is run him on a curl route because he's got off coverage. So again, off coverage, he's not gonna be able to play that curl route and I'm able to hit it over and over again. Now, for example, if they were running something like this, well, right now, I, now it makes more sense to run Devontae Adams on that route. So now he's in cover two man, I'm able to get off the press there, he ends up recovering, but you see the idea. Now I run a fade route, or now I run a, a thing. And again, that doesn't mean that he's going to actually be open. It just means this is a general idea for how you can go about reading the defense at a high level. Because what that's going to do is, by asking that question, who is open now at the pre-snap, it's going to give you a lot of insight into what routes are going to get open in the post-snap. Now, sometimes they're going to show you that something's open and then they're going to take it away, but at least it gives you an idea of where to look as soon as the ball is snapped. Okay? So, run a spread offense, um, run a curl routes, don't hold turbo whenever you catch balls or whenever you uh, run the ball, and then ask who is open now on the offensive side of the ball, and then mix curl routes into your plays. The last tip that I have for you today is swerve catch or user user click on to everything that you throw right a simple click on makes all of the difference of the year in the world this year including including against curl routes you'll see here this out route when i click on to him and i just swerve him slightly i literally am swerving him inside and outside you see my controller cam inside and outside right that simple swerve makes all the difference in the world because the defense now has a little bit of an issue. Now again, you know, I'm, I'm obviously uh, getting locked down right now on that out route, but let me show you Devontae Adams, right? Click on, and I'm just swerving. And there Jones makes a crazy play because I didn't clear out that route. But what you'll see here by running, again, this is just a, a general idea of how to do this, right? It's, it's not specific from five wide or anything or out routes, but you're just gonna swerve it. Manually clicking on and swerving your receiver inside and outside, inside and outside, is gonna make a huge difference this year. Verticals wide shake, you'll see here. Inside and outside swerve, click on, and I'm clicking on as soon as I throw the ball. I'm swerving him slightly inside or towards the defender, and then I'm swerving him outside that's going to give me the position that i want here i'll show you this deep 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 post route we probably won't get this but you see how it it at least shields the ball so that the defense can't get it that's what i'm really trying to get at here and this does make a huge difference especially against zone makes a difference against man too but zone is you can see it notice it a little bit more but again i'm gonna swerve him and basically what i'm doing is i'm going to turn him toward the defender and then turn him back toward the ball. So sometimes it's outside in, sometimes it's inside out. It depends on where the defender's at, really, for how you're gonna wanna do this. But you'll see here, verticals wide shake. Again, I'm just gonna throw this ball, pass it inside, and then I'm gonna take him out and then in. Out and then in. Should a possession caught that. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna shield, literally shield your, uh, your guy. You'll see here on this route, Devontae Adams, I'm just gonna lob it up, take it in and out, and you see how it gives that little basket catch animation over the top like that? That makes a huge difference. So swerve catching, in my opinion, is one of the biggest keys that I can give you. So to recap, run a spread offense, don't hold turbo all the time, right? Choose, be selective on when to hold turbo, when not to hold turbo. Then also run a curl route, mix curl routes into your offense, fourth tip I just had for you is to swerve catch and 
the last tip that I have for you, or I'm sorry, the, um, the, the and then the one I want to come back to really quickly here is who is open now? Get better at reading the defense. And you can do that by asking the question, who's open now? Literally look at the corners and say, okay, he's press coverage or he's off coverage. This is press coverage. So it doesn't make a lot of sense that a, a smoke screen is going to work against this. Right? A better option is to run him on a comeback route or something deep down the field, like a fade. You know, in this example, we'll show you a comeback route, right? So just a simple comeback route, click on, possession catch it. Again, you're swerving, right? You're gonna drag him toward the ball, user catch it. Those are all the keys to offense this year, in my opinion. A little bonus tip that I do have for you is if you are struggling with passing the ball against man-to-man, you have to think about the idea of natural picks and rubs. So curl routes or a hitch in combination with the drag works fairly well against main man. So here's a hitch in combination with a drag and you see it's going to kind of shield Devin Funches and I'm going to be able to throw a drag. Running, man, having man beaters on every play this year is absolutely essential. Heck, worst case scenario, call a curl route. It'll probably beat man to man coverage for you. But those are my top five tips for you to improve overnight in Madden 21 on the offensive side of the ball. And if you really want to go a little bit deeper on the offense and learn the ins and outs and specifics and the tactics for what I'm trying to teach you in this video, what I want to encourage you to do is to pick up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. It is in the description below. It's 25 bucks, 15 for the offense, 15 for the defense by themselves. But 25 bucks, you're going to get offense and defense full ebook, over 70 plus pages of breakdowns on offense and defense, over 12 plus hours of video content, along with film studies. And we actually update these every, uh, every few days um, for the Madden 21 launch. So, again, guys, one of the guys told me this was the best $25 that he's ever spent. And I just want to encourage you if you haven't taken that step yet, go ahead and pick up that guide. If you want to keep watching some of my tips videos and tricks videos, a couple of them are about to appear on the screen, but I also want to take this moment here to invite you to come to my live stream. My live stream streams every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. You can subscribe to me and join the Discord, and that way you'll be notified of when we do go live. You can also, if you have a Madden, 20 question, Madden 21 question, you can text in. My cell phone number is at the top left. It's 812-216-3644. We'll see you tonight on the stream at 10 o'clock Eastern time.